53 miles now. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming toward steady up. Uh, now you're getting under the air refueling pump, you can see this director light. This light will guide you up and down, left and right, but since the director lights are optimized for big airplanes such as, you know, the B-52 and the C-5, the fore and aft and up and down lights are on the opposite side. The F-16 has the throttle on the left side and big planes like this 747 are configured in the opposite way. The throttle is in the middle or the right side and the joystick or joke it's on the left side. So up and down director lights are on the left and the four aft director Forward. lights are on the right. Now if you are in the optimum position, the center lights will be illuminated on both sides. But if you are too low, they will be illuminated telling you to move up. The lights on the half part of the director set lights closest to you will be illuminated telling you to move up. And if you are too far forward, the director lights on the right will be illuminated on the half farthest from you telling you to move aft or back. So like you can see there's plenty of help Forward. all around you. On top of this help from the director lights, the bomb operator will guide you verbally telling you left, right, up, down, forward, aft, things like that. So he will guide you right to the bomb. Contact. Now the lights uh, the operator and the operator telling you where to go is a really really good help but the most important thing you should do is to start your air refueling by looking at the entire tanker and use your peripherals to check you know the lights your position and where you are under it it's kinda hard to explain but basically just looking at the metal by focusing most of it on your position in reference to the tanker. You really, if you want to, you could refuel without looking at the lights. Forward. And with time, you know, you will decide which one is better for you. We also have different views on this plane. You can use the 3D view Forward. or the 2D view or just have the full screen with number one if you want to. I prefer number two and shift two which makes it like wider. You can see a little bit more of the tanker and you can also see your overtake Forward. speed on your left MFD. And another thing, please try to Forward. control yourself, be patient and fight the temptation of shooting down the tanker. Just control your maneuvers and do not fire at the tanker. Trust me, I've been there and I want to shoot the crap out of it, but don't. Also, the manual said that if you don't have throttle paddles, it's better for you not to set the refueling to realistic because you need your rudder pedals to maneuver for a better and more specific one, one, task. Stabilize. So start with easy Forward. settings, then go to simplified, and at the end use realistic or accurate. Back. But Not I have back. done it without Cowboy. the rudder one, one, pedals. So Disconnect. you really don't need them, Contact. it's just depend of how good you are and what kind of challenge you're looking for when you're refueling. Alright, you made it, so hit list number two and monitor your refueling progress. You could keep an eye on the right side on your fuel gauge or just monitor your fuel right here. And also don't forget to keep an eye on your overtake right here 
and keep an eye on your speed and the tanker speed just double check remember keep the overtake below 10 knots negative or positive don't go over 10 knots And when you're done, just hit Y again and hit number three for done refueling. Camel, one one, topped off and ready to go. And you are done. Roger. Go get yourself a cold one. So that's it, my friends. Uh, this is the end of this tutorial. I haven't decided what the next tutorial is going to be. I uh, will wait for more input and see what you guys are looking for. Until then, thanks for watching and I say.